All right. So hopefully you can hear me over the compressor from the guys doing the roofing next door. But this is our aquaponics system. And that valve just went off. Anyway, fish are going to go in there. It comes out of the barrel into my pump. Up from my pump into that water spigot just in case I need to drain it. And then hopefully you can see the three valves to regulate the return to the barrel, the output of the pump, and the output to the lettuce beds. Now these barrels here at the top are lettuce beds. I've got an air stone in there that's not on right now. But basically a piece of foam is going to float on top of here. And the lettuce and spinach and whatever other greens that can stay in the water most of the time are going to be in it floating. And the probably going to have another stone that's going to aerate the roots so they don't rot. So I've got two of those. These are my overflow safeties that run back down the center into there. Um, this is set at a certain height so it overflows in these beds. Both these beds fill up over time. And these fancy little valves here. Oops, let me turn my laser on so I can see what I'm aiming at. Those valves right there. Which is just a standpipe. And then I've got, this is where the water comes into the bottom. That is a failed project for a vent, and this is the actual vent. But basically, it's going to create a suction as the water goes up. And when it gets past that standpipe, you look down here. I'm going to put the lasers on again. You look down here. This is the output for that one. And you can see that it's got like a P trap on both sides, which helps it start the actual suction by it goes over the top of that standpipe. That water flushes past that P trap, which causes a suction in this chamber as the water goes up in the standpipe, which make the bed slowly drain and then when it gets to the bottom and the water gets close to down here that little cup right there this hose will be in it and uh, since there's suction in it it'll try to pull water through here too well that cup will start to float and the water pulling through this hose will go away it'll suck air it'll turn the basically effectively turning the suction off and uh, maybe I can start it Okay, now that pressure was enough to start that one. And unfortunately, I missed that one shutting off or I could have showed you the valve. But uh, you can see lasers again. You can see that little valve down there. Um, hopefully this next one will go off in an okay amount of time. Um, these are my overflows for each bed. Uh, I tested everything and put caps on things to simulate failures. So I've capped this before, saw what it did. It leveled out and then it ran down my return. Um, that little guy down here, it's not really easy to see. It's just regulated off the main feed to aerate the tank for the fish while there's no draining. I may be able to block this later to get more flow because these create quite a bit. But uh, so the fish tank will go up and down three, four inches as the, the beds ebb and flow. And then these rocks, which they're not even rocks, they're made out of recycled glass, but they hold quite a bit of moisture. So the roots will get a drink of water and then it'll flow out and it'll get a nice aeration and it'll keep doing that over and over. Uh, and then in the whole system, all I gotta do is feed the fish. So I'll find out some kind of organic, high quality stuff that's good for hippies and feed the fish with that, which will in turn feed the plants. Um, and then once this system's working great, I'm gonna, this is all just tap water that I'm sure is fluoridated. So I'm going to vacuum the pump, the, the tank out to get the dirt and stuff from this uh, settling. Let that drain off and then I'm gonna order a whole bunch of sparklets that I know is not fluoridated and replace the system. That way I'm keeping fluoride out of everything I do. Um, and hopefully, I I'm, not, I'm not gonna be able to grow tomatoes um, I've got to fill these up more because they're kind of loose when the water gets up. Oh, I hope we caught that. That was the pump valve shutting off and sucking air into the cap, and you can see it's not running anymore. 
and the one next to it is about to start. Oh, no, it's just got a little, as it goes, it gets a little hiccup here and there before it gets started. Anyway, hopefully I caught that, and hopefully that explains everything. And maybe I'll do a video once I get some greens growing. I had a little rosemary plant in here earlier that's gone, so we'll see how it does once we get the fish going and get everything rolling.